This is a combination of two exercises, 20-2-1-A, normal hatch editing, and 20-2-2-A, non-associative hatch editing. We're in the demo hatch drawing file in the Steps Less Than 20 folder, and our objects have already been hatched. There are several ways that you can begin the hatch editor. You can type hatch edit and select the object you want to you want to edit. You can type HE, the hotkeys, or the quickest and simplest way is simply to double click on the pattern that you wish to edit. AutoCAD opens the Hatch Edit dialog box. In this case what we want to do is change this inner pattern to a gradient. So we will pick the gradient tab. We want one color rather than two, and we'll select the lower left gradient. Pick OK, and AutoCAD changes the hatch pattern to a gradient. Now let's move on to editing a non-associative hatch pattern. The outer pattern here, you'll note, is associative. We can make it non-associative by simply removing the check. But let's see what happens with an associative pattern. If I go to change the boundaries, like so, the associative pattern automatically adjusts. We'll undo that, select the pattern, and then make it non-associative, like so. Now, if I go to change my borders, you'll note that the pattern does not automatically update. You can update it easily enough by selecting the pattern. You have grips on the pattern. We'll select the appropriate grip and we will move it out like so. Clear the grips and that's all there is to non-associative hatch pattern editing.